All my life, I has to fight, nigga. Hard times like God. Bad trips like God. Nazareth, I'm effed up. Homie, you effed up. But if God got us, then we gonna be all right. Nigga, we gonna be all right. Nigga, we gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We gonna be all right. Why would I begin an inspirational message with the foul mouth language of a hip hop recording artist? Those words were written by Kendrick Lamar. I don't think other evangelists would begin a message with a rap song and I bet my beloved pastor would be disappointed to read the opening of this article. But there is a message in this madness, so just keep on listening. Rapper Kendrick Lamar has won a Grammy, a BET award, an MTV award. He has countless global fans and he also has a Soul Train Music Award. There are young adults and hip hop fans who can quote Lamar's lyrics faster than they can spell their own names. I know this song is laced with profanity and reflections of trials and troubles from both film and reality, but I cling to the shining light that beamed from the midst of this song. And it said, but if God got us, then we gonna be all right. How can you be encouraged when you're sick or injured or facing a trial? Is it really feasible to believe that a person can look to the heavens from which cometh my health and strength when they are dealing with a broken bone or an impending surgical procedure? Hmm. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 tells us that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, a place where God can dwell. Our bodies are considered houses. Many of us will put on makeup or purchase a new suit before dealing with pain or dysfunction within our own bodies. Does that new eye makeup cover up the fact <laughs> that you're squinting when you read? <laughs> Do those new running shoes cover the foot fungus that you have ignored for months? <laughs> hmm. Now, what if your home has a foundation issue that resulted in cracks throughout the walls? Are there shingles missing from your roof? What do you do? Do you slap a coat of paint on the walls and cover up the cracks? Or would you work to restore the foundation? If your home is the place where you dwell, wouldn't you take care of your home? If your body is a temple, if your body is a home where God dwells, then it's time to take care of it. Joel Osteen said, it's not a valley of sickness, it's a valley of restoration. When we get a bad medical report, just wait for doors to open. God wouldn't have led you to this situation if he didn't have a new direction for you into a valley of victory. Your valleys are leading you to your victories. Thank you, Joel Osteen. As I wrote this article, which was first printed during Spiritual Sundays at TamaraMcCarthyEnterprises.com. While I wrote this article, I was lying on my couch with my laptop on my lap and my foot was propped up on a pillow. You see, just last week I had had bunion surgery and my foot was still holding the stitches. During my first follow-up appointment to the surgeon, she revealed to me that I had popped one of my stitches and my foot was red, which meant infection, and that led me to 14 days of antibiotics. <laughs> my surgery was on a Monday and my first follow-up was on a Wednesday. How did all this happen during the course of two days? <laughs> How? It's because I didn't respect my temple. My pain meds were working and the walker was within arm's reach. 
but I felt like I didn't want to be a burden to my family so I was hobbling around a bit on that foot what I had done was slapped some paint on my cracks <laughs> and I ended up doing more harm than good to my temple I ain't doing that no more my foot is propped up, the ice pack is in place, and I have a remote control in my hand. I'm watching Joel Osteen and the rest of them. Hmm. God will certainly speak to you, whether you want to hear from him or not. Kendrick Lamar screams the lyrics in his song, and he tells audiences, but if God got us, then we gonna be all right. Some of us don't hear that inspirational word because we don't listen to rap music. God uses Lamar to deliver that word and we don't like the cussing in the song so we don't listen to it hmm. while I was writing this article I had the TV on to my favorite channel when with you know I had Joyce Meyer on mute <laughs> why would I put a message from God on mute because I was trying to write this article <laughs> well I looked up from my laptop and I saw Joyce Meyer make a funny face and so I turned up the volume on my TV just in time to hear her speak these words from God. If we just keep asking for miracles, God will just keep giving them to us. But if we ask God for wisdom, we can avoid the pitfalls that require a miracle to climb out of. Oh Lord, thank you Joyce Meyer, thank you. Now, I realize that waking up from any surgical procedure is a miracle in itself. My blessed mother-in-law used to say, they put you so far down under in sleep that you don't even know you in this world. I don't take that for granted. Thank you, Queen Esther Chastain. I, I never took that word for granted. I don't take for granted that any surgery is routine and I give God all the praise for the miracle of healing but along with that miracle a person needs wisdom I should have rested following my foot surgery and if I had used wisdom I would not have injured my foot or required antibiotics if I had used wisdom and allowed my family to care for me during that time I would not have strained myself trying to sit up <laughs> And I would not have gotten a hernia. <laughs> yes, Lord, you heard it right. I have an estimated four inch tear in my abdominal wall. And now I need another surgery just to repair that. <laughs> wisdom. I asked God for a miracle, but I lacked the wisdom once I received that miracle. And now I'm quoting Kendrick Lamar lyrics. We gonna be all right. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We gonna be all right. Ooh. My body is the temple of the Lord. And because of this knowledge, I wrote a book entitled The Evolution of the Queen Bee. This book details my 200 pound weight loss and the miracle of healing from disease through gastric bypass surgery. Hashtag evolution of the Queen Bee. My body is a temple of the Lord. And because of this understanding, I also wrote a book entitled Last Week I Wanted to Die, which detailed the mental illness that led me to three suicide attempts. Hashtag Last Week I Wanted to Die. I choose to no longer limp around in pain for my foot. I choose to have my temple restored. How can I preach to others of the goodness of a healing God when my toe hurts so much? I can't stand before his people. I didn't just slap some paint on the cracks. I restored my foundation. My foot is healed in the name of Jesus. God didn't heal me from type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, poor circulation, GERD, PTSD, major depression, and generalized anxiety disorder. He didn't heal me from all those things just to have me limping around with a bunion. 
God didn't heal me from suicidal major depression in order to let me fall down from a bunion. God allowed me to learn my lesson and gain my wisdom, even with this hernia. So now I'm allowing my entire body the opportunity to rest. Thank you, Lord. Everyone marvels over the Proverbs 31 woman, but let's take a look at the Proverbs 313 woman. Now that's who I want to grow up and be like. <laughs> Hashtag Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the miracles you have allowed me to see, to speak of, and to be a part of. Thank you for not only restoring my body, but elevating my mind with wisdom. Father God, I love you and I strive to be obedient. And I thank you for sending skilled physicians and caregivers that are my family and friends. Use me, Lord. My temple is yours to speak to others and to lead them to you. Thank you for Kendrick Lamar. Thank you for Joyce Meyer, Kenneth Copeland, Joseph Prince, and Joel Osteen. Thank you for the tour that Angie B presents and the clients that wait on Angie B Productions to reopen while I heal. Lord, I thank you for loving me. In Jesus' name, amen. This was printed originally on the website www.tamaramccartheentrepriseses.com Tamara McCarthy Enterprises.com These lyrics from Kendrick Lamar came from the song entitled All Right and they were printed on metrolyrics.com slash all right lyrics Kendrick Lamar. Information was also obtained on wikipedia.org Kendrick Lamar song. Joyce Meyer television broadcast originally aired on August 18, 2016 on WACX Super Channel 14 Orlando, Florida, and the Joel Osteen television broadcast also aired on August 18, 2016 on WHLV-TBN Channel 22, Orlando, Florida. I am the Queen Bee, Evangelist Angie B. As a media producer and accomplished social media promoter, I have recorded audiobooks for authors that now bring fulfilling stories to those with an ear to hear. I report on news stories that may have been overlooked by larger audiences through video news. And I share my testimonies of mental illness and healing through my own books entitled Last Week I Wanted to Die and The Evolution of the Queen Bee. I inspire, encourage, and share the Word of God as a prophetic evangelist and ministry leader, and I work alongside my anointed husband to bring workshops and entertainment to ministries, corporations, and families. A humble bumblebee may be small and sometimes unseen, but I buzz with the anointing from above, and this queen bee is pollinating the world with the love of the Lord every way that He leads me to. Evangelist Angie B. founded the tour that Angie B. presents in July 2011 as a live outreach ministry, which was inspired by my award-winning Holy Hip Hop radio show entitled The Hottest Home Hotspot Worldwide. Angie B. serves small businesses and ministries through Angie B. Productions, offering audiobooks, commercial and TV show productions, videos, and social media promotion. The Queen Bee Evangelist Angie B. is the recipient of the 2012 Female Radio Show Host of the Year by the Global One Accord DJ Alliance. Evangelist Angie B. 
has been recognized by the Professional Women of Excellence National Leader for founding the Moms in Ministry Outreach Workshop and the Queen Bee Evangelist Angie B is the recipient of the Palm Tree Spiritual Endurance Award presented by Mary and Martha Ministries Orlando. Angie B is a daughter, sister, mother, aunt, and member of the Fellowship Church of Praise of Volusia County and is honored to be a business partner, best friend, and rib of Barty. Please visit www.thequeenbee.com for more information or call 386-383-0726 for booking information. That's 386-383-0726. Visit us today at www.daqueenbee.com. That's thequeenbee.com. And if it is the Lord's will, I'll be back with you on the next day and the day after that and the day after that. Visit hashtag spiritual Sundays to read Buzzing with the Queen Bee as guest blogger. Share this word with someone else and be blessed.